From the Liturgy of the Hours, According to the Roman Rite From the Office of Readings From the Memoirs of the Secretary of St. Jane Francis de Chantal Love as Strong as Death One day, St. Jane spoke the following eloquent words, which listeners took down exactly as spoken. My dear daughters, many of our holy fathers in the faith, men who were pillars of the church, did not die martyrs. Why do you think this was? Each one present offered an answer. Then their mother continued. Well, I myself think it was because there is another martyrdom, the martyrdom of love. Here God keeps his servants and handmaids in this present life so that they may labor for him and he makes of them both martyrs and confessors. I know, she added, that the daughters of the visitation are meant to be martyrs of this kind, and that, by the favor of God, some of them, more fortunate than others in their desire has been granted, will actually suffer such a martyrdom. One sister asked what form this martyrdom took. The saint answered, Yield yourself fully to God, and you will find out Divine love takes its sword to the hidden recesses of our, our inmost soul and divides us from ourselves. I know one person whom love cut off from all that was dearest to her, just as completely and effectively as if a tyrant's blade had severed spirit from body. We realized that she was speaking of herself. When another sister asked how long the martyrdom would continue, the saint replied, from the moment when we commit ourselves unreservedly to God until our last breath. I am speaking, of course, of great-souled individuals who keep nothing back for themselves, but instead are faithful in love. Our Lord does not intend this martyrdom for those who are weak in love and perseverance. Such people he lets continue on their mediocre way so that they will not be lost to him. He never does violence to our free will. Finally, the saint was asked whether this martyrdom of love could be put on the same level as martyrdom of the body. She answered, We should not worry about equality. I do not think, however, that martyrdom of love cannot be relegated to a second place, for love is as strong as death. For the martyrs of love, suffer infinitely more remaining in this life so as to serve God than if they died a thousand times over in testimony to their faith and love and fidelity. Lord, you chose St. Jane Francis to serve you both in marriage and in religious life. By her prayers, help us to be faithful in our vocation and always to be the light of the world. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>